how many Daniel Marts can one man fight? Luis Ortiz, King Kong, or as I like to call him, King Khan, spelled C-O-N, is fighting Kajano. Now, he was set to fight Joe Hanks, but I guess he saw my video and he got pissed off that I said he cherry-picked Joe Hanks. So, I guess he wanted to prove me, he wanted to prove to me that he could fight a better opponent, so he decided to cherry-pick a worse opponent in Kajano. Now, Kajano was that sparring partner bum that Joseph Parker fought prior to fighting, I believe it was either Anthony Joshua or Huey Fury. Once again, now this is Luis Ortiz's third professional fight. Once again, Luis Ortiz is fighting a low-level, limited opponent. Once again, not impressed. You have so many fighters in the heavyweight division. So many guys who are much better than Razul Kajano. Much better. Much more credible. Much better talented. Much better skilled, skilled wise, you know. But for some reason, Luis Ortiz and his team just love feeding Luis Ortiz these shit level opponents. And I know what people are going to say. They're going to say the reason he fights shit level opponents is because he's avoided. They said the same bullshit when the, with Deontay Wilder. With Deontay Wilder, oh, you know, nobody wants to fight Wilder. But then when Wilder was coming up, they were saying it was because he he turned pro at 19. So they try to come up with this dumbass excuse saying that the only reason Luis Ortiz fights shit level opposition is because he's avoided. Nobody's going to avoid a 49-year-old professional fighter who has a very limited resume. Again, I expect this to be an easy fight for King Kong. I expect King Kong to truly put on an ass whooping against Kajano. But you know what? Kajano is a survivor. Because Kajano was able to go the distance with Joseph Parker. So Kajano might just go the distance against Luis Ortiz. He might just be able to do it. Because if he was able to go the distance with Joseph Parker, he might be elusive enough and awkward enough to go the distance with Luis Ortiz. I hope Kajano pulls the upset. Wouldn't that be great if Kajano just pulled the upset against Luis Ortiz? Boy, if that were to happen, people would really give Deontay Wilder the hell, wouldn't they? Because Luis Ortiz is considered Deontay Wilder's most, you know, best victory of his entire career. So could you imagine if Luis Ortiz were to come up short and lose? <laughs> Against Razu Kajano. Boy that would make Deontay Wilder's victory over him look really bad. Wouldn't it? But you know. That's all I have to say guys. I'm not going to watch this fight because. Well I'm probably going to watch it just because it's going to happen in, against. In the undercard of Robert Easter Jr. versus Mikey Garcia. And I'm really looking at, looking forward to that fight. Robert Easter Jr. versus Garcia. And these and this guy's gonna fight that bum Kajano on that undercard. So that's the only reason I'll watch it. But trust me, if this guy wasn't fighting in that undercard, I wouldn't bother watching that fight because it doesn't interest me because that's a cherry pick and a foregone conclusion for Luis Ortiz. And I don't I'm not into uh foregone conclusions. I'm into competitive fights, fights that I don't know who's gonna win. Not these easy one dimensional fights, you know, walk in the park fights.